Okay, this is a continuation of the publisher subscribe uh, tutorial with NetBeans uh, called Message Beans and NetBeans. And this is just the Wicket continuation to show you a GUI and the end result. And if you're using Wicket, hopefully this will be informative. And if not, you can just see what a publisher subscribe might look like. So first of all, in my publisher.html, I added the standard HTML code, just a form with Wicket ID and a text for some input to what to publish and then an input type of button to confirm. I'm not going to waste your time typing in the HTML there, of course, because I assume most people already know it. So first of all, we're just going to add a form with my Wicket ID and make sure you always import the right Wicket form and not something else. So now we're going to include something right here. This is going to be text field equals new text field. And of course, I did not actually, I'm going to make it into a field, which is why I didn't add that text field uh, variable at the beginning. And we're going to make this a new model, which is pretty much just an empty place to store data. Shift, Control, I, choose org.apache, everything. Hit OK. And of course, we're going to create a field for the text field. I'll just get rid of that final there. Okay, so that's our text field. And then we want to make an Ajax button because we want this to happen automatically. Call it button, why not? Okay, now we're going to make this button um, equal a new Ajax button. Nothing special here, call it with the wicked ID confirm. And of course, open close bracket, semicolon, shift control I, fix all imports. And of course, we have to implement all abstract methods. And so now what we're going to put into this abstract method is pretty much all this try catch code that we have from our previous tutorial. Should have toss it right in there and, uh, you know, tab everything appropriately. And that's pretty much it. Now, there's only one or two more things that we have to do. Of course, we want our text message to reflect the text field dot get default model object as string, and then all we're going to and that's that's everything in our on submit. Of course, we still have to add everything to the page. We have to add form, and of course, to form we have to add all the text fields and button. Oops, I forgot the word add there. Useful. To actually call a method on an object. So form.add text field and form.add button. And that's pretty much everything it actually takes to write the publisher. There is nothing else that you really have to do. It's pretty much all the code we had. We were just tying a text field and some buttons to it. Now let's go into subscriber. And we're going to make a span with wicked ID response. And that span is going to be changed depending on what's going on. So let's go back into our respond. And, and make a label, sorry, I meant our subscriber class. We're going to make a label private, label re response. Oops. And now we're going to, of course, let's get rid of this receive no wait over here, because we're going to put it actually in an updating behavior. So response equals new label, and it's got the wicked ID response, and we'll just put nothing yet, dot, dot, dot. And we'll add response. And of course, we have to do response.set output markup ID to true so that we can actually change it with Ajax and update it. So now we're going to go to org, you know, fix all the imports. That's almost everything. Now we actually have to read the message. This is going to be the hard and, I guess, fun part. So now what we're going to use is we're going to use an Ajax self-updating timer behavior, which you can see here. This is pretty much all the code. And we're going to put it as a one second. So every second, get a look it up. It's not the most uh, efficient code. So now let's open and close the brackets, put a semicolon here, and fix imports. And make sure you choose the Apache duration. And now we're going to have to override a method. It's a little silly that it's not abstract, but it's not a big deal. We're going to call on protected void on post process and of course there's an Ajax request target that we can now use. Now we're going to add this to the response so there actually is because it has to be in the method it has to be in the object tree 
and now pretty much we just want to build all this reading code so now what we're going to do is we're going to get the subscriber and we're going to receive and we're going to store that text so let's just do that right now we're going to make a what's called a text message because that's what we sent if you remember is equal to well not new text message we're going to do this message oh subscriber sorry <laughs> subscriber dot receive and we'll make a 10 second timer and don't worry that this is one second because I'm pretty sure this should stall the entire process well it's complaining because we need a try catch once again so now we're going to do some checking on this and pretty much it's some really simple stuff and we're going to actually just make a string text and if message if our message object is equal to null we're just going to do message dot get text and that's what text is going to be stored as now if the text equals stop we actually do this is something that we're just going to do you don't have to do it in your program of course but if the text equals stop meaning they publish the word stop we're going to close the subscriber session connection we're going to give a response and say connections closed and then we're going to stop the updating behavior so that pretty much we clean up everything that we've done so far now there's only a couple more steps we just want to set the label we want to set the default model object to be text and of course we want to add the component which will reload it in Ajax without updating the page and we're done that's all we really have to do to get everything working which is a little surprising it's so such a little code I, I almost think I did something wrong let's go to wicked application and I just want to point out that I mounted both of these pages already as publish and subscribe so that they're very easy for me to find so let's just clean and build and you can look up more on that on the internet of how to you know put easy URLs to your classes so now let's run this and and now it's going to compile hopefully and everything's working and we'll get a nice little tutorial of what's going on so it'll say nothing yet as the text and if it doesn't get a set of text if you noticed it should say empty it starts off as empty so if the message is not equal to null you'll get text so now let's take a look we're just gonna update our publisher I mean our subscribe it says nothing yet and now if we just look at our Safari we're just going to put this uh, publish up and don't you hate hello world instead of the standard whoops so hello world let's go to publish and let's type in hello world uh, socks there you go let's hit publish and you can see that on the subscriber on this other page it automatically updates and of course I can I can open up a different URL over here and type in you know publish oops it's gotta be a lowercase publish so now I can do uh, you know test or something like that and it'll automatically update the subscriber and of course if I hit stop connections closed and now I can do anything I want and it nothing's gonna be read over here so that's pretty much all it takes to make a Java messaging system you know a JMS and um, NetBeans and Wicked and that's pretty much all it looks like thank you for watching and please leave some comments encouragement and any ideas you'd like to see thank you